Nell's cooking show. We have moved from Snapchat officially to YouTube now on Sasha's channel. Um, thank you to everyone who voted on Sasha's poll on Instagram. It was between an upside down pear cake and dairy free cookies. So everyone voted and dairy free cookies won. And Sasha will upload it on the screen somewhere showing the poll. So yeah, let's show the ingredients. So what should we need for this recipe is one cup of packed brown sugar. A half cup of sugar, we replaced it with coconut sugar because it's a bit more healthier. Two large eggs. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Three quarter cups of vegetable oil. Two and a half cups of all purpose flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. A half teaspoon of salt. And find yourself a packet of dairy free chocolate. So make sure you preheat the oven at 180 degrees. That's what we did. And while that's going, we're going to beat together the sugars, the eggs, and the vanilla extract. So we'll just pop these in there. I need to cream it all together so it's nice and fluffy. And you need two teaspoons of vanilla. And once they start to combine, I'll scrape the edges so then they're all combined. That is all combined. We have to add the three quarter cups of vegetable oil. And just mix that together. Okay, sweet. Now it's time to add all the dry ingredients in. So on the recipe, it says I need to add the flour in half cup increments. So gradually. And then just mixing that together and then gradually adding more and more flour in a half cup. Jesus! teaspoon of the baking powder. Okay, just incorporate all that. And then... <laughs> She's all good. That was so embarrassing. Amazing. 
All right, now I'm just, I'm going with my hands now, make sure they're clean. I'm just scraping the sides. All right, now it's time to add your dairy free chocolate chips. These are expensive. And they're vegan, so how good's that? Oh my god, they're so cute and small. Cool. All right, so I'm just going to gradually add them in. I'm just going to eyeball it. That looks about right. If I need more, I'll just add more. Just with my hands. So now it's time to put them on the baking trays. I just laid some parchment paper so they don't get stuck to the trays. Um, what I'm using is just one of these ice cream with scoop of gadget things. It just makes it a lot easier when you put them on the tray and also they're a lot more even. Alright, so I finally popped all the cookies on the trays. It makes 32. But now it's time to put them in the oven and then they can cook and then we can eat them. I'm excited. So they're meant to go in the oven for around 9 to 11 minutes. Oh man, the oven I have put them in this cute like little trifle dish they made um, 32 I think 32 cookies I said that before but yeah this is how they look nice and small like bite sized pieces so yeah um Sasha will put the link down in the bio of the recipe that I used I hope you enjoyed this video it was a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys make this at home make sure to subscribe like do all that stuff comment and yeah see you guys